Time for investigation ouch. We all have senses. They tell you what's going on around you, and then your body knows what to do. This is an anechoic chamber. Normally, it's used to test sound equipment, but scientists often use these chambers when studying sensory deprivation. It's designed to deaden any noise, so there's absolutely no sound inside at all. This is totally alien for a human being. I'll have to be careful. Let's speak to an expert. This is Dr. Oliver Mason. He's a psychologist at University College London and has done lots of studies on what happens to the brain inside anechoic chambers. So what do you think is going to happen to me in there? Well, your sense of hearing may become more sensitive. In fact, all your senses may alter and you may even hear things that strictly aren't there. So you mean even if there's no sound, I might still hear things? That's right, because our mind may create uh, something for us to experience because there's nothing actually happening. In fact, it can be so disturbing for the mind that some people totally freak out. So we've taken some special precautions. So Oliver and James are going to be monitoring me while I'm in there. They've given me a safe word, which is ouch. And I can say that at any time and they'll let me out. Now I've got this camera with me, so you're coming too. Let's go. Everything is now very quiet. So it's hard to imagine there's anything outside this room now. I can't hear any other noises. So the first thing that's really strange about this is it feels like my brain almost can't stay still. So I'm listening very, very hard for noises now. I really want to hear things. So I can hear something like birds chirping or like a waterfall maybe, like a high-pitched kind of chattering sound. That's because my brain is trying to make sense of this place. It thinks there must be sound, so it hears it. But there's nothing here. Starved of sensory data, I'm developing spidey senses. But I can hear my heart beating in my ears. I can still hear my voice, but it's not my normal voice. What happens if I shout? Hello! Nothing. It's really, really weird. So it's, it's like I'm shouting into a huge valley and nothing comes back. Everything I say disappears immediately. Now, most of the information the brain receives is through sight. So what would happen if I had none? It's something I'm about to find out. So now I'm seeing things and hearing things. Deprived of its normal data, my brain is reaching out to make sense of this alien scenario. But without its main stimuli, it's confused and I'm becoming disoriented. I don't know how big this room is anymore but I feel like I'm in a very big forest that just goes on forever. I really don't like it in here. I really would like that door to be opened. Ouch. Did they hear me? I hope that'll make the door open. Are they still there? And that is a welcome sight. I feel like a bit of a baby now. I wasn't really scared. I wasn't scared, actually. Half an hour in there felt like a lifetime. So it is very bright out here. And the other thing is it's really loud. Like I can hear my voice, I can hear lots of other sounds, but I can mainly hear my voice very loudly. Like it's echoing off everything. Um, yeah, I am very pleased to be out. So I quite enjoyed the 15 minutes in the light, but when the lights went out, it was like a nightmare. Nightmare is a really good point of comparison because your brain's probably in something of a similar state in there. It's got nothing to go on and everything comes from the brain. That's right, we've shown the brain needs sensory data to function. It just shows how much information my brain's getting every single minute of the day and processing without me even knowing it. So when you take those things away, things get very weird indeed. Of course, I'm not, I'm not really afraid of the dark. 